In these problems, we need to solve equations that have some natural logs in them. And remember, a natural log, this ln, that just means log with a base of e. In this problem, we have 4 plus the natural log of x minus 1 equals 6. Um, and the first thing we want to do is get the log alone. So we want this part just isolated on one side of the equal sign. And that's pretty easy to do here. We just need to subtract 4 from both sides. So that's going to give us the natural log of x minus 1 equals 2. Now what this says, the natural log is a base of e. I'm just going to sketch an e in here to, to remember that. What this says is that e to the second power will give you this expression x minus 1. So we can write that as an equation. e to the second power equals x minus 1. And since we want to solve for x, getting x alone is pretty easy now. We just add 1 to both sides. So we have the expression e squared plus 1 equals x. So we've, we've solved for x. We don't have a number for this yet, but that's pretty easy to do with a calculator. We've got an e button on our calculator. We can square that, and then we can add 1. So let me just bring up the Windows calculator here. Let's see. To get the e and the natural log, I have to press this little up arrow key that brings the second or inverse functions. So now I've got e to the x. I can get e squared by punching in a 2 and then hitting the e to the x. So e to the x, or e squared, is 7.3, etc., etc. And then we're just going to add 1 to that, so plus 1. And our instructions say to round to the nearest hundredth, so this would be 8.39. So x equals 8.39. Let's try another one. Here we have something a little more complicated. We've got two natural log expressions, the, the natural log of x minus 1 minus the natural log of 4, and all of that equals 2. What we can do is try to put these multiple log expressions into one log, and we can do that with the properties of logs. You know that a difference of logs is the same as the log of their quotient. So. Um, the log of uh, L, the natural log of x minus one minus the log of four is the same as the natural log of x minus one over four. So this is the same as this here, and that equals two. And now let's think about what this means. A natural log is a log with a base of e. So this says e squared gives you this. So we can write that equation e squared equals x minus 1 over 4. And let's see what we can do to solve for x here. I'm going to multiply by 4. So 4 times e squared equals uh, x minus 1. And then we're going to add 1 to both sides. So we get 4 e squared plus 1 equals x. And let's go ahead and uh, bring up our calculator on that one. So we're going to again have e squared. We'll start with that. So I'll punch in a 2 and then hit the e to the x. And then we multiply that by 4. And then we add 1. And we get 30.56. So x equals 30.56. So that is a little bit of work solving equations uh, with natural logarithms.